Let's talk about the difference so that you know the difference between guessing and intuition. Here's some examples in my life. So someone asked me, is this the right career for me? And the reason this is not guessing is that something came from out of the blue. Like I had no idea. It wasn't just a yes or no question. I saw a baby boy coming in and I'm like, you're going to have this baby. <laughs> and she had no idea. And then it was about 15 months later that she emailed me and said that she had had the baby and she sent me a picture. It was a boy. So that's happened a few times where the baby comes in when it's a different question altogether. So we can see in a much broader way when we use our intuition. One question I had was, will I be flying to Paris? That was when the volcano eruption stopped all the air traffic. And um, I, I did some intuitive reading. I did an intuitive reading on that. And I saw my plane flying and everything was really smooth and very safe. And about a week later, I was on the first day of open air travel to Europe. My plane went to Paris and everything was fine. So no delays or anything. <laughs> it was great. That's the difference between intuiting and guessing. If I had just guessed, will my plane take off? I probably would have guessed no, because all the planes were canceled. So with intuiting, usually people who are using their intuition believe, <laughs> believe in something greater than logic alone and an in inspiration. And they understand that it doesn't always make sense. Guessing is usually from a controlling state of mind. We do it in fear, under stress, when we need a, solve, a, a problem solved. It's often inaccurate and unreliable. A lot of times it's based on the past observations in the past and there's like a 50 50 chance like if you're gambling and you guess the lucky number in north america we say give me your best guesstimate estimates come from observation speculation and rationale it's also active working active working kind of energy that's masculine or yang it feels tighter in the body narrow and rushed kind of rushed a lot of the time with guessing it's like you're a lot of times people will guess on tests because there's a time constraint. It's also kind of ego driven and a lower vibration. If you're sensitive, you'll, you'll be able to feel it in your body when you start to practice the difference. You can pra you actually can practice guessing and then intuiting and feel how it feels in your body and where do you feel it. A lot of people will feel guessing in the head and intuiting in the heart. The answer in a guess is usually literal. It means one thing and there's no symbolism and you don't interpret it. Also, it's done without belief in intuition. It's usually um, more of an academic kind of a behavior. It's that kind of a thought pattern. Um, it's not grounded or centered. And a lot of times when you get that answer, it'll feel unstable when you tune into it with your emotional senses. So you can get a feeling that way. And um, usually people guess when they don't believe in their intuition. So intuiting, oh, first guessing examples, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> That's what people say because it's unreliable. And they guess a lot at the weather. Sometimes they're right and it's all based on past data. So it's kind of limited because we're looking backward when we're guessing. So intuiting is surrendered instead of controlled. It's usually done in a calm state and it's usually accurate and you'll find out over time when things are proven to be true that you predicted or that you validated, you got evidence about something and it was true. It's more open to a variety of outcomes than guessing is. You can get symbols and metaphors in a in an intuitive answer it's receptive or yin like more of a female energy we intuit when we're centered and relaxed in an expansive thinking process so it's deeper it also feels like a higher vibration it feels more supported spiritually because it's not always logical so sometimes it's symbolic 
also it comes from nowhere a lot of times and we're not always planning our answer out so it feels like the truth you can practice too and see how it feels for you and a lot of us who do in intuition know techniques and tools to use for that so are you using your whole brain that's where the whole answers are because they're not just pieces of guesses so what do you think do you think you're connecting with your deeper intuition and if you're not is it because of stress in experience or disbel disbelief in intuition or even in yourself like that's really important to know because we can we can change these things with personal experience you will believe <laughs> come over to psychic you and get more information i'm offering classes they're all online